The Nerdgasm and Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, both sides, turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. Oh yeah, well we are back. This is the spoiler uh, uh, review of the, uh, Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. James Gunn's version of the Suicide Squad. It's a soft sequel, soft reboot because we have some returning characters such as Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, such as Amanda Waller. Uh, oh, excuse me, such as Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. John Courtney as Captain Boomerang. So you know those are some of the people. They, and uh, Rick Flag. I, I don't. Flag. I don't know the actor, but uh, it's yeah. Rick Flag. Yeah. So uh, who played Rick Flag? Then we got some new characters. You know, Richard Alba as Bloodsport. John Cena as Peacemaker. King Shark. You know, just to name a few. So uh, I, I did a review of this actually relatively early. So make sure you guys go to. Uh, Nerd Coach Studios, check that thing out. But now we're going to talk about all things spoilers. Did we like the movie? Did we not like the movie? Did we enjoy it better than the first one? Because I've seen uh, good reviews and mixed reviews, and some I'm like, what do y'all want? So, <laughs> I, I, I have seen that. So uh, I'm curious, uh, Sway. Uh, uh, so let's start with you. Said I did my review already. How do you feel about it? I'm in a void. I highly enjoyed this movie. But I feel like there is something missing to really make it like, oh man, I want to watch it again. This uh-huh. was this was definitely better than the first one. It felt more put together than the first one. the The comedy was a lot better than the first one as well, and everything wasn't so like. I feel like the first one was like stuck in two thousand two emo phase, <laughs> whereas this one it was like, okay, we we're in college now. We we like we we could get a little bit more violent, a little bit more raunchy than uh, previously. Um, I can't. I don't know if this will be considered a spoiler because I don't want to hop into spoilers yet. But I wish the team was a bit bigger, and I'll I'll elaborate when we get into spoilers. Mm-hmm. Um, Margaret Robbie. I wish we got more of her, but I didn't watch Birds of Prey, so that's probably why I feel like that. Okay. I started it, but uh-huh. and then, but I didn't like. It was like, uh, do I really feel like watching this type of uh, thing? I'm probably the only one in the world that likes that movie. So, but I'm like, because hey, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm one great, it's not one of the greatest movies, but I'm just saying. But I I enjoyed that Harley Quinn Birds of Prey movie better than the first Suicide Squad movie. Oh, okay. And you know what? It's not. Suicide Squad wasn't that great of a movie, even though I enjoyed it. But yeah, I under I, I, I understand. Yeah, I understand why it was hated. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah. it makes sense, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, I was actually expecting to see a Jared Little Joker, which I'm kind of glad we didn't get. In yeah. all honesty, so um, well, her, her, her well, I I figured they wasn't going to put the Joker in here because they broke up. I yeah, and then I thought um I thought the whole thing like with oh, that'll be getting the spoilers. Um overall I thought the mo- I give the movie a hashtag give it a chance. There was definitely some things I didn't like about the movie, but overall I, I had a lot of fun with it. Just more than I actually thought that I would. And a lot of the jokes that I didn't laugh in the trailer, I thought it was funny in the movie. Once you got yes. more context with it. Yes, I I do agree with that one. Yeah. So uh yeah, I'm ready for the spoilers. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I uh so first off, James Gunn Warner Bros. said, All right, look, this your movie, this ain't Disney, you ain't gotta play with the kids, you ain't gotta do no guards of the galaxy bullshit. Mm-hmm. Do what you want. He says, Hey, is anybody expendable? They said, Do what you want. <laughs> and he said, No problem. <laughs> there were characters in the movie, because uh, people we just we get right into spoilers now. That I really thought that was going to make it to the end, uh-huh. and characters I thought they was going to uh, kill in the beginning, and I was so wrong. Yeah, I, I was agree. so wrong. Now I thought, um, what character was it? Uh, Mickey, what, oh, God, it's not Mickey Royce, but uh, the guy that played Yondo. 
Yeah. They started him off like the main character. And they took yeah. him out, which I was like, oh, okay. We're, we're going this way with it. <laughs> they took they took your boy for saying that live out, too. They did. And they you know was, what? I, I expected him to be out quickly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I expected him to be out quickly. Yeah. But not like that quickly. <laughs> so so well, 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 let's just get out into, into, like, you know, uh, the main characters, mostly with the main team. Because right. there, in this movie... Uh, the Suicide Squad it, it does live up to what the comics are mm-hmm. because one thing I liked about this Suicide Squad movie opposed to what they didn't do in the first movie is that Amanda Waller always has a backup plan for the backup plan for the backup plan yep. she's always like that she's been like that in uh, Batman Beyond <laughs> and <laughs> Justice League series and in, in the first movie she had this straight team Mm-hmm. And it's just like, yo, if this team does not get it done, then she's fucked. Like, did she, she, it, it almost seemed like she didn't have a backup plan. Right. But this one, I was like, this is more comic oriented for me, where she's like, oh, I got a backup plan for the backup plan. And then I did not, when that first team went out on the beach and we got all the obscure names, I did not expect half them. I was like, yo, because cause James Gunn threw me off. Harley Quinn is on that team. Right. Yeah. I was really thrown off with that, and I was like, "What?" And Rick here? Flag, <laughs> it, 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 Harley Quinn and Rick Flag on that team, and I'm sitting there like, "Whoa, they just killed Captain Boomerang off the." I'm like, "Hold on, I thought he was a he was the main one of the main Suicide Squad member." Nope. I I did too, cause I I was I was like, "God, come on!" And I feel like that's why he put him in the movie. It was like, "Okay, remember him for the last one? Too bad, too bad. Yeah, he's gone." And uh, I I also like the fact that. Yeah, they actually kill people because this is a suicide squad, and we didn't exactly. just we didn't just get you know a rope guy you know swinging on the building with his head blown off and that's it. Like, oh, she's serious, guys. It's like, no, you're in this no. or you'll die. It's exactly. you, you don't and really you have are, a choice. It, you are expendable. Yep. So, h- how did you feel the difference? Because now we have Bloodsport here, which is obviously another Bloodsport is in the comics. Uh-huh. But it, it's another version of like a dead shot. So we obviously had Will Smith be dead shot in the first movie. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why Will Smith didn't come back for this movie is because he's filming Bad Boys 3. Oh, okay. Cause... So it ain't, like he, it ain't like he said, nah, I don't like that. Like I said, that's why I say it was, I felt sequelish to it also. Right. But they went and got Itchis Alba as Bloodsport. And I have to say, Itchis Alba surprised me. Itch- Not that he's a good actor, right. but for what he did in the movie, because what I, I know he was hilarious. Yeah, and then also I, that he was uh, shown off to be deadly. Yeah, they as did as well. Now you know, I mean, I, I thought him having all the transformer guns was kind of cool. Didn't know where the pieces was coming from, but I, I was like, you know, it's, it's still kind of cool. Yeah, they were all on the suit. I was like, okay, that's that's like I liked how they showed it. And I was like, okay, yeah. that's cool. I'm glad they actually took the time to show it because. Any other movie, they would just throw it in there. So uh, how'd you like? How'd you like him compared to Big Will? I'm gonna be honest with you. I I didn't know Will Smith was filming Bad Boys because in this while I was watching this movie, I was sitting there. I was like, there was no reason for this not to be Deadshot. Yeah, I was like, they're they're literally almost cut and dry from the same cloth. Like, it's, I mean, it's, it's almost like the same story. Yeah, with the daughter and everything. Exactly, and that's why I was yeah. like, you know, Deadshot could have had this relationship with his daughter, like with her, like actually being mad, like, yo, I know you're a villain. Like in the first one, she was like okay with him being the villain. It's like, look, Dad, I know you're a great guy, but now she's like, look, you, you're doing too much. Mom is yeah. going, and like, you're, you're doing too much right now. Then I would have liked that conflict if it was Will Smith, you know, because that would have gave him even more character development and drove yeah. him even more crazy to, like, not want to be a part of this team because he does not care anymore. Especially after how the first mission was. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I, I thought yeah. that would have been much better. Um, But Idris Elba really played this part very well, which is, you know, a standard for Idris Elba. Because I don't think he had a bad role, in my opinion, uh, in any movie. Uh, Dark Tower. but I did not see that. You know what? <laughs> I did not see that. So, <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> uh, 
next up we have John Cena as Peacemaker. Shocking. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> I enjoy John Cena as Peacemaker much more than I enjoy John Cena as Juan Cena in Fast 9. <laughs> I still have not seen Fast, but I will say this. I I didn't respect John Cena as an actor until now. Yes. I could see his acting chops, and I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it now. I mean, I, girl, and, and like I said, the the, the the jokes he was saying in context in the movie. Right. And that's where I the trailer messed funny, that yeah. up. The trailer messed that up. The jokes with yeah. in context, it, it's hilarious. Out of it, it was like, okay, this is this is just sounds dumb. And he seems like a copy like paste character where it's like, okay, we already know what he's about. I really enjoyed him, especially his motive. He's like, I don't care what I got to do. If I could bring peace, I will do it. And you know, I like at the end, because see, when people hear peace, right, uh-huh. they, they feel as though that she's supposed to be going like, you know, Martin Luther King and out there protesting nonviolence and we just want peace in the world. No, it shows that peace means the cover up. Yeah, peace means control. Can control. So if I, I will do anything I can to keep the control of everybody's sanity. I was like, you know what? I love that. I'm glad they had that 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 that, that whole fight for the chip thing at the end. I am too. Yeah, much more to his character. I am too, and I only feel like that would have happened when James Gunn did this movie because he he knows how to write a complex uh, team of characters. Yes. He he. We, I mean, we seen that with the first Guardians. I, the second Guardians was meh, but uh, we seen that with the first Guardians. He done and that very well. On- to uh, Harley Quinn. Now, y- y'all know how much of a big fan of Harley Quinn I am. Right. And honestly, I was like, the second act of Harley Quinn, I said this in my um, my non-spoiler review, mm-hmm. I was like, I, I wasn't understanding it. Cause I was like, why? I know we got the feminist movement out there. I have no problem with you know how they feel. Mm-hmm. Because I, I did go watch Grace Randolph's reviews. Mm-hmm. And I'm just sitting there like, but you know, because I was like, this whole making her up for the dress to go give her to this president to have sex with him and stuff like, I was like, why are we doing this again? Right. I, 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 it really was taking me out that second act when they're trying to focus more on Harley Quinn. I was like, you know what? Like, Harley has proved she's a badass. Right. And people, got, people keep forgetting that the bridge between the first Suicide Squad movie and the second, because see, a lot of people want to keep talking about some re- reboots, right? This is why I, I, I'm more on, like, this is the DCEU. Okay? Mm-hmm. If, and they said it takes place in the DCEU. So, there's a bridge between the first Suicide Squad and this one, that's Birds of Prey. She got character development more in Birds of Prey. Right. Now, I know you, you, haven't, you haven't seen that movie yet, but mm-hmm. she has got, like, in other words, she can see all these you know, all these things. Now, obviously, um, when she killed the guy at the end, honestly, the way Birds of Prey made her, that would have been her um, motive from, from Jump Street. Right. And I think I liked that part, and I kind of got the sense. I was like, okay, now I need to watch Birds of Prey. Because uh, I'm assuming the whole Black Mask situation kind of... Um, because yeah. were, were they in a relationship in that movie? No, they, they, they were not in a relationship, but um, he was uh, doing some things to women. Okay. Because I was sitting there, I was like, um, I'm assuming that like she's also had a bad relationship with Black Mask. When she said, I choose the wrong boyfriends. And she yeah. was telling us, like, I told myself, like, if I see any red flags, to end it there. Because in, in Birds of Praise, when she officially cuts it off with the Joker. Mm-hmm. And, and and that's what I'm saying. I wasn't expecting him in this movie in the first place because she cut she cut she cut them all. Right. And of course that was hard for her to do. And she and it's it, it's been she's been going uphill ever since then. So that's the kind of thing I was just like, oh, okay, I, I I don't I don't know how I feel about the second because it, it was just like confusing me at first and throwing me off. And I was just like, uh, okay, fine. But you know, but come the end, mm-hmm. yeah, I enjoy her definitely the third act. 
and I enjoyed her in the first act. Yeah. Because honestly, I was getting scared. I was like, oh my God, James Gunn is crazy enough to kill off Harley Quinn. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, James Gunn is crazy enough to kill off Harley Quinn. Would now you feel had, her... I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. Uh, would you feel her arc would be completed if she killed her? If he killed her? Instead of, like, no. instead of dying as Joker's, you know, lady, die, she's dying as Harley Quinn. Do you feel well, like that arc would have been closed? No, because I think... Okay, th- th- this is just me speculating, because Margot Robbie says that she's done playing Harley Quinn for a while. Okay. She came out and said that. Because I believe that DC, uh, DC mm-hmm. is going to try... You know how Marvel builds up to the Avengers movies? Yeah. I think DC trying to build up to the Justice movie. Okay. Gotcha. By the way of w- what's coming out, like when it comes to Aquaman uh, and then uh, the new Black Adam movie and the new Shazam movie. Right. I and uh, Especially with this whole Superman stuff going on, I really feel, and with the whole thing with Flashpoint going on, I really feel that they're going to try to build up to a live action Injustice and they're going to do, they're going to probably do it their way, and I think that's where Harley gets. You know, she, she comes back. Margot Robbie comes back, and it's a possibility they could probably kill the character off then. I'll, but I'm just saying right now she's not. I was I was in there like, man, if she dies, like I want to see more Harley. She still could have some more growing to do. Right. Because me personally, if she actually goes out and kills Joker, that'll be that'll be something different too. Right. You know. But like, she, I don't want to spoil anybody who has to see Birds of Prey. Like swag, but I'm saying. But no, she, I I, she I feel like the movie's been out long enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. But, yeah, say but like, she does kill Black Mask in the end, and and I like that. Okay. Yeah, it actually it was actually kind of funny. To be honest with you, <laughs> but um, so yeah, uh, but so hard question. So now we, we bring in uh, a couple CGI characters. You know, uh, Jay's gonna like CGI characters. We bring in King Shark, and I was like, okay, so King Shark was obviously what. Killer Croc was supposed to be in the first one. <laughs> Except not black. <laughs> Killer Croc, bro. <laughs> not an urban youth. Yeah, he was like, this, yo. This, this man walking around as Sean John. I'm like, bro, that <laughs> velvet brown that you got on? But, but it, it was a uncut. It, uh, uncut, like, you serious? Like, I like the addition of Killer Croc in there because I didn't even want to try to use the, 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 the prosthetics, which was a great job. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like King Shark. However, see, here's the thing. King Shark, to me, I was like, King Shark in the comics is like an intimidating thing. Right. This one, he just, it, it, it was the whole big, dumb creature that, that they got to try to make friends of a day. Now, when he eats you up, he brutal. Right. But, you know, I was just like, but overall, I mean, I, 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 I did like King Shark for, for, what, for what it was to bring in there. I don't know. Maybe I've, like, I've seen Assault on Arkham, okay? Now, my, uh, oh, excuse me, my personal experience with King Shark, the most I got a King Shark was, uh, the Harley Quinn show. And he's a, he's a little bit more like, uh, he's like, he doesn't want to hurt people, but he has that edge where he's like, I will kill you all. And that's, yeah, that's, like, yeah. Kind of like Assault on Arkham. I, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember him on. Okay, Soul Narco was the first animated Suicide Squad no, movie that he had. I, I, I remember. I just don't remember him in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't. That's, like, that, that's one of the better animated DC movies. Yeah, that that was a good movie. I just for some reason he yeah he is not coming to my mind when I think about that movie. Yeah, I, I got you. Uh, but yeah, um, I I really enjoyed him. I was like. Now I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was gonna die a couple times, and I was like, he he did nothing wrong. Those piranha jellyfish, and I was like, yeah, you killing them that way? That and that, I, that was bothering me. I was like, oh my god, they gonna take King Shark out by that? I was like, come on, that that's not even that's not even right. Then he came back, and I was like, all right, cool. And then I'm like, don't let the building fall on him. And I'm like, all right, he cool, he cool. It, I, I, it was just so much... Go- and then I thought uh, Starro killed him. And I was like, w- why are you gambling right now? Like, <laughs> why are you yeah. rolling the dice with us? But uh, uh, I really enjoyed him. I, I, he was like... Um, he's that merchandise character. Yes. And uh, then we have Ratcatcher, who played by Daniela, uh 
Melaquire. I uh, he, don't know her here's the thing. full name. The whole time me and my wife was watching, we was like, is that Zoe Gravis? It but, looked just okay. I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> and I was it but, just but like I find out, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> But I, I was like, yo, is that Zoe Kravitz? Like, 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 did she just sneak her ass in this movie? Or what was going on? <laughs> uh, who, who control, who's basically like, you know, the nice Willard. Right. <laughs> and uh, I was like, ooh, you know, with the rats. And I was like, you know what? If they New York rats, it's a powerful ass rat. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I was like, yo, she got them New York rats. And I'm like, yo, those some powerful ass rats. But and I was like, yo, she, um, I love the chemistry that she builds with the team. Uh-huh. That's one. That's one thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the first Suicide Squad kind of was going there, but then they stopped. I feel like the chemistry they had in Su- the first Suicide Squad was only based on Harley Quinn and Deadshot, and then it feels like they stopped there. What it, 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 the, the way it felt like was like okay, because remember they were trying to bring Rick Flag around. Right, but then Katana was dealing with her own shit. Mm-hmm. Then you had Diablo dealing with his own shit. Right, and Killer Croc dealing with his own shit. And when they was at the bar, I really thought they was about to bring it, like wrap it all up together. Right, and nice little bow, and they did. And I was like, "Damn!" Right, because yeah, I agree with that. In 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 the second one, I was like, "Okay, so we see that." We get some back. We, we we don't get long backstories either, which I like. Also, mm-hmm. we see the rat catcher and the blood sport is is bonding, but along with polka dot man, which I will get to, mm-hmm. and uh, with them all bonding with King Shark, and then that them all having you know the bond for Harley Quinn, and then you felt all that. Even Peacemaker coming up in there is like, okay, now this is all wrapping its way around. It's coming all it's coming all together, kind of like how they did Guards of the Galaxy, which right. I thought was great. Yeah. I agree with that because I didn't I didn't feel that in the first one honestly I didn't no, feel I didn't any either. of that in the first one where this one this felt more home like it felt if this felt like they were friends at least you know uh, Ratcatcher yeah. honestly that's my favorite character in the movie I really enjoyed her character uh, I really enjoyed her story I was more shocked that out of all the people to defeat Starro. She was going to be the main one. <laughs> exactly. She would have been my favorite character until David Daskamonica came up, a.k.a. Penguin from Gotham, who played the Polka Dot Man. <laughs> he was hilarious. So that the was thing. a hilarious character. When they had the Suicide Squad roll call at DC Fandom last year, uh-huh. and I said, the Polka Dot he's going out first. They I, I get- thought so, too. <laughs> I said, I said they had to make characters for, for them to go out uh, to go out first. No, this man make it to the very end, and he has a decent backstory. Yeah. And uh. first of all, <laughs> James Gunn does a great job by making what his power is look like like when he swells up with with, with the whole uh, polka dots. I'm like, that looks gross. It did. It did. I was like, is he about to explode or something? Because I didn't know Polka Dot Man. I was like, I, I didn't feel the need to research him <laughs> after hearing his it, name. I was like, okay. I felt like exactly what John said. Like, he throws Polka Dots? Like, oh, are you serious? So, yeah, well, that, that's, how yeah. I, that's how I felt. But this movie, I was actually, like, rooting for him. <laughs> it, it's, I, I like how he has, the, like, the, the whole... Subtle, I'm liking the team type thing, but yeah, the, the whole crutch of everything is his mother tried to turn him into a superhero, right? So now he just wants he said he will kill anybody, he could kill his mother, and his mother's like, Everybody, I love how James Gunn makes everybody when he's it, through his eyes look like his mother, yeah, <laughs> especially at the end with, with Star Wars, I was dying, yeah, that was hilarious, and then just to be killed <laughs> by your mother, yeah, I, it's just like. Yeah. That is like semi poetic. He's <laughs> like, I became a superhero. He's like, hey, you died the way you wanted. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you're right. You died. I mean, ah, oh, shit. I, I was, I was kind of hoping he he made it to the end. But yes, Polka Dot Man was way better beyond all my expectations of characters I thought I would actually like up in this movie. Yeah. So that's what we got through. Oh, and then of course there is Rick Flag. I thought Rick, Rick Flag was just fine. 
as he was. I was, I the way he died, I was like, oh come on, because I uh, now I was a little, I was conflicted with that fight, because I'm like, yeah, and, yeah, now it was, it I was only conflicted because it's like I know, our it's already been announced that Peacemaker's having his own show, yeah, and I was like, okay, so he can't die. But I don't want Rick Flagg to die because I feel like this information needs to go out. So what's going to, what's it going to be? And then seeing that um I think it was like piece of glass go through his heart, I was like, ah, oh, mm. come on. And I'm so I'm actually surprised they didn't mention anything about Enchantress. You're right, they did not mention anything about Enchantress. I was very shocked about that. Well, I, I wasn't too shy about it because everybody, because first everybody was like, did, did not like the whole ending of Enchantress type thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even that's though true. I was just like, so y'all hated the big villain at the end of the first one, but we got a big villain at the end of the second. Right. Sure. <laughs> hey, no problem. But uh, so now, with the, with, with, oh, and then the last one I'll talk about is Amanda Waller. Mm-hmm. I liked Amanda. I, I thought they was going to do good anything she did. Right. Now, I like that they, they made her more combo accurate, but it, to me, there was something that was just missing that she had in the first one that was not in the second one. Really? Because I thought she was more threatening in this one. So, uh, I, I don't... She's like, more of a, of a female dog in this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 she, 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 was, she, she was willing to do things that... Her coworkers or her, you know, people that work under her was not necessarily for, mm-hmm. but it was something about that. And I like she had a backup plan for a backup plan for a backup plan. Right. But I don't know. Maybe it's when they they try to give her the the, like the semi funny scenes where she killed because she's Viola Davis. Right. But I was like, it's kind of like you know when she when the, they's like, who brought the weasel out here? He can't swim. She just slowly turned her head like. Right. You didn't check if the weasel <laughs> like that's what, I like that I love that yeah. and like at the end when she when she look at look at look at that dumb as they sit there eating chips like I don't know who hit you yeah but uh <laughs> we just work it right and I like like she gets I like the fact that she like got annoyed with it instead of like oh you guys got to come and save me in the first one yeah where this one she felt like she was more of a boss presence than the first one okay i you can be fair about that so uh comparisons from now is there uh from the first one to this, uh, to this one is there anything that you did not like or anything that, that you thought was did he did better in this one than he did the first one uh one the comedy in this one was much better uh two the lighting you can actually see things um, I know it, it was that it was that early DCU angst. And everybody had to like, do that grayscale. And I was just like, my God, it's okay to, to, uh, to be in there. First of all, them in the jungle interacting after Polka Dot Man released himself. Yeah, uh, I thought it was funny, <laughs> especially when he when Blood when, when Blood Spot was, was sports like you out here, tidy white. So he was like, hey man, that's racist. Right, yeah, and I was like, like "How was that's not real?" I was like, <laughs> you know, like and, and, and I like the fact that John Cena's getting to a point in his life where he'll take the team himself seriously. Right, I, like, I he, was he very can. happy about that. Yeah, because he can, but he he's not. So I'm like, okay, I'm dope with that. I'm I'm cool with that. I I, I like that, especially him. And then if I was showing that with him being scared of rats, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, oh, because me personally. I still don't like seeing rats. I seen a Baltimore rat in person. I was horrified. That, that, there was a, it was the size of a dog. <laughs> so I, was, I seen a rat at Burger King. Oh, no. And I was in the drive-thru, and it thing just sitting around and just hopping. And that, that you, you know what the most creepiest and disgusting thing about when you, when you see a rat is? What? That tail. <laughs> it's something about that tail that I'm just like, why is this thing so long and potent? Like <laughs> this thing is this thing is just gross. And I, I, I and I'm telling you, 
just seeing, I know a lot of wrestlers with CGI, but I was just like, but just, oh, can you imagine, you know, him covering up his and all the rats crawl over him like that? Yeah, I was saying yeah. the same thing. I was like, nope, not me. I would, I would not have been keeping my composure. Mm mm. Mm-mm. I'm like, yo, can I just go up there, like, like, like yeah. on higher ground, and they, go do, and they go do their thing? Like, why do I got to sit there and just crawl up and just hope nobody, like, none of them don't touch my ear or nothing? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, but, but, but go ahead, continue. No, um, crap. What was we on? The, uh... uh the, the c- comparisons, things that you made. That's right, that's right. Or dislike. Honestly, I think this movie did a much better job than the first one with Almost everything. Um, I feel like the first soundtrack was a little bit better than the um, than this one. I felt this sound. I felt like this soundtrack was all over the place. However, the displaying who the characters are and showing their powers was great. Um, the chemistry between all the characters was way better than the first one. I felt like the first one they felt like it was like oh, we're forced together. Whereas this one is like. We're together, but we might as well enjoy ourselves while we're here. Um, the story was much better. De- honestly, this was definitely to me. This is an upgrade from. This. Did you like the whole Project Starfish villain? Honestly, yes, because there's no other movie where you could put him in to make him a series villain. You're right. Like, this was that that was the first villain in Justice League. That was the first Justice League villain, and it's like, well, we can't translate that. And now seeing it, <laughs> like, I don't want to see Superman and Flash and Wonder Woman fight that. That's gonna look dumb. And the way they, you know, translate in this, I was like, it makes sense to be here. Out of all movies, it makes like I said that when I saw the trailer, I was like, it makes sense. Okay, I can see them fighting that. Um, I thought Starro's powers were really cool. Um, you know, just him releasing the stars and him... And that's what people's faces, yeah. Yeah, and the fact that where you see him, like, yeah, we try to take the faces off and, you know, <laughs> like, we try to take the stars off and their faces are completely being ripped apart. Mm-hmm. Also, the violence in this movie. I, Sheesh! I, I'm... It was so good just to get, like, just completely, just utterly gory and <laughs> disgusting violence in this movie. You know, I, I think this is a way of how to balance dark and humor, mm-hmm. opposed to just being dark. Right, yeah. Because everybody think I hate when people translate dark for good. Mm-hmm. Just because it's dark doesn't mean it's good <laughs> at all. Uh, you you hear exactly. that you hear that a lot in the anime community. It, it's it's like okay, just because you're edgy doesn't mean you're good. This one definitely had a great balance of that. Oh, one scene I have a problem with them in the forest where uh, Peacemaker and Bloodshot were doing their little you know uh, dick measuring contest. <laughs> How in the world did no one hear anything? Well, one they're assassins, so. There, I, I understand it. There's, but but also, I'm like, there, you hear the, uh, uh. I was like, oh. Like, and then one person was actually on fire. And I'm like, and screaming. And then you hear the splash in the water. I was like, wait, none of y'all heard that? Uh, all right. also, also, they were like a, a peace treaty to the point where they were actually one of the good guys. I was like, that, somebody not going to like that. That was, I thought that was funny. The fact that they were yeah. all good, and it was like, yeah, you took them out. It's like, oh, it, 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 as I said, I, I thought, I thought that there was a funny way to do, especially with them having the dick measure contest. Mm-hmm. I, I know somebody in the review who did not like that at all. What? But, uh, <laughs> it was Grace, yeah, wasn't it? It was about. Grace, wasn't it? <laughs> so, oh, she just tore that apart. Right, they, I was like, but you know what? They're killing civilians. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just like, you know, she like, she should, she should, she should have killed one of them. And look, <laughs> you know what I'm no disrespect. Look, I love my girl Grace, but I'm just saying, I I, I understood what James was trying to try to go for there. And like I said, it's the Suicide Squad, right? These are these ain't heroes. These these ain't, this ain't a trained team. They just trying to get time off their sentence. To, you know, to, to do little bullshit ass missions, right? They're not going to be a cohesive unit like the Justice League or right. anything. 
people out there that are being, you know, covert. They, these are the mistakes that they are definitely going to make someone day. And making a huge mistake like that, that just screams Suicide Squad. Right. You know, and like it, it, James Gunn was was here. It's like you know, this is what I kind of hope DC movies can be, mm-hmm. where it's just like, look, we got a director that we can trust, and uh, let's come up with an outline of how how we want these movies to go. But then go ahead and, and, and do your thing with it, opposed to what happened in the early DCU, where one of us just had their hands all over because they were scared of everything. Like me personally, James Gunn was still saying like, hey. If there's an air cut, show it. Yeah. I I I, I would love, love to see it. Was. Yeah, I would love, especially with his version of the Joker, because I feel like we got robbed of that. I feel like I we really so. had, so. we could have had a great Joker, a great modern Joker, and we got robbed of that. I just also think that they are, they do, they, they want to cut down this whole Snyderverse thing Craze because oh, yeah. it's the direction, the direction that they want to go to go in. But see, once again, I'm like, what you? I think you can still have both. Right. I don't know why you can't have both. Especially if you're like world of DC. Yeah, I, I, I really think why can't you have both? You can still have this world of like with these these everything don't have to be Marvel. Yeah. Like, like, like we have like Shazam's supposed to be this kind of, that that kind of movie. So is uh the Suicide Squad, but and it, maybe even Aquaman. But when we get to Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. like the like the third one, and we, we fixed what the shit we did in '84, you know, say uh that's the way it probably should go. And the Justice League, it, it can be a darker movie, right? I have I like I have no no problem with that at all, especially after seeing. How much better that Snyder Cut was? Yeah. To, to that Justice League. Um. So when it came to me, as violence, the violence was was a lot better. And I also think in the first one, like David Ayer wanted to put violence in there, but then the Warner Brothers didn't want to have him killing people because once again, we already had the cold complaint about Man of Steel killing innocent people. James Gunn said, "I don't give a fuck," because that whole yeah. kid was innocent. I also like, um, because in the first Suicide Squad, we had, like, the horde of, uh, whatever it was. <laughs> like, and they were just killing them. They just felt like something disposable. Whereas in this movie, it's like, oh, we gotta kill actual humans that are starfish attached. Mm. And these are government officials, so honestly, they're working for the good side. But we have to kill them. It's like we have no choice. I like that. Yeah. Oh. Uh. It's it like like those kind of things. I like Warner Bros. You know, made them fight these uh, otherworldly monsters because they didn't want to see them killing humans. Right. And I'm just like, bro. The, in the new one, they just burned up a whole cage of birds. If that ain't animal cruelty. Yeah. That. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what is, and I. I, I this, this right here, I hope it shows Warner Brothers in the future that if you can, if you just let the people just just trust them what they're doing. I they hope so too. Them. I hope so too yeah. because it's it like just talented directors. Just trust their vision. Yeah, and I don't think- pull a Wonder Woman was like the first one was great, and then the second one y'all had to step in. Have, have you seen eighty four yet? I have not. HBO Max is on the, there. The more I hear about it, the more I'm nervous about right. watching it. I just need you to go. There's, there's a list of movies I need you just to go watch. I get your opinion yeah. on. You, you don't know how bad I want your opinion on yeah. a lot of things right now. I, I did watch Woodstock. <laughs> I did watch that. <laughs> like, I had to see how bad it was. Were and we lying? I, I really don't want to get on top, but... Uh, I, no, I'll wait, 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 I'll w
especially the bar scene. The whole bar where they're trying to get the um, the thinker, and then they had to go in the van, and then they burst out the van, and that's when you know yeah. the bus is right there. I was like, so there was really no point for this scene, to be honest. That scene didn't bother me as much as the whole Harley Quinn shit. Okay, the that's fair. Harley, the whole Harley Quinn shit I could have took out. Right. And honestly, it could have been just a thing like them going to rescue Harley Quinn so we can be a complete team to go after, you know, Star Starro at right. the end. Mm-hmm. And you could have showed that bar scene and them, you know, them gelling, Jossie doing his terrible dancing and them trying to get a plan and she gets out by herself. That's fine, but the whole other stuff with her and the president and having sex and, you know, and, and falling all in love all over again, I don't need that. Right. And honestly, don't get me wrong, I I like that Harley Quinn scene where she's busting out and taking out everybody, uh-huh. but the problem was it's recycled. She did the same thing in Birds of Prey. Okay. So, and actually, I like the one in Birds of Prey a little bit better. Okay. And because it, it's it, it, it's a scene where she's like you know, busting through like a jailhouse. I was like, wait, but I seen this before. Gotcha. And I was like, oh, I know. Okay, so it's, it's like it's like I seen this already. So that to me could have been cut. You mm-hmm. know, it, it's fine, but I'm like, but it's you know, it's part of the movie, so they got they got they got to make their quarter. But I, I like the I like the, the first act. I like the final act. I love how they uh, transition where they have like the elements in the background telling us. Like this is now or three days ago. I or, love that. I love yeah. that. I it's something I about that, the I world. It yeah, it's something about the world telling it to you that just makes it cool to me. Exactly. Yeah, especially it was so like I, Operation uh whatever it was called. And then the uh with the fire. And then you see yeah. the fire blow out Operation Harley. I was Yodaheim, like, okay. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Yodaheim. Yeah, and he said, We're well, forget about one thing and the fire goes into Harley. I yeah. was just like, oh, that I, I, I thought it was great. It was cool. It was really cool. So, yeah, so I, I honestly, in my review, gave it a damn near perfect. Oh, okay. I thought this is one of the better DC EU movies that they have made. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I really agree with that. Like, this is uh, this is going to go uh, on, on my top of 2021. Um, yeah, like I said, I, especially from seeing the first one and seeing Birds of Prey, I just really really enjoyed this. I think this is the best one. I, I, I that whole series. Right. Right there. I actually call it the Harley Quinn series. I think th- this is the best one. Okay. And uh uh James Gunn said he wants to come back and do other D C projects. I'm just like, please. Yeah. It, it sure, it's I- good that they have someone like D C has someone like that has a good resume with other superhero properties. Yeah, I mean you could why can't why can't we do both? Why can't we make it where we can do Marvel and DC? Right. If, you know? if you're good with, if you're good at it, <laughs> like you might as well, you know, do it for whoever you want. Mm-hmm. If they hire you, just do the job. <laughs> but exactly. Yeah, I look. Yeah, I still give it a ha- uh, a hashtag. Give it a chance. It was a good movie. I had fun watching it. Um, not too many problems with it. I feel like uh, the the two hours. It, it didn't need to be that long. Oh, it's a, it's a superhero movie. You already know there yeah. is no superhero movie that's, that's good. It's right, just yeah. two hours. It was just like, dang, this is <laughs> y- y'all didn't need to make it two hours at all. That twelve minutes. Oh, post credit scene. I'm not sure if you saw that. Oh yeah, uh, I did see the post credit scene where because at first when Peacemaker got killed, mm-hmm. and they did a call back to the whole smaller bullets thing. I thought that was great. I, I thought that was great. I was like, "Oh, so must that Peacemaker thing must be a prequel?" Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. In jail. And now and I'm hearing Cena, this like, yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Well, yeah. Well, well Cena, just like he did in wrestling, kicked out at two, and <laughs> uh, he he said, "No, nope, we're doing the we still do the Peacemaker, Peacemaker series because I'm awake now, and uh, now I'm curious to see." That since he was working with Amanda Waller, uh, besides working for the team, and now, you know, they know about that that chip. What's going to happen? Right in that show. Right, right. Oh yeah, <clears throat> he still does have it. He's, 
Exactly. So I, I, I'm curious to see what's going on with that. Also, I like the way how they got out of it as well. Yeah. I like the way how they got out of it where they said, um, it's like, look, we got the footage, end our sentence, and it, it you won't hear from us. I like exactly. that a lot. Exactly. So I thought, I thought it was good. So Amanda's wild is back against the wall, and she don't like her back against the wall. So I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. So, guys, that is our spoiler review. So make sure you guys check out the non-spoiler review on YouTube if you guys haven't so already. But if you listen to listen to this all the way to the end, well, then, you know, you're already out of luck anyway. But still, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Next superhero movie I come up is Shang-Chi in, in uh, September. But, however, next movies that's supposed to be coming up, I am going to try my best to get out to the movie theater to see Free Guy and Respect. Hmm. 